Hey guys, say hi. Hi, and welcome to Escaping the Smog, a, a series of YouTube videos on simple and affordable ways to get away from Bangkok on the weekend. In this first episode, some friends and I went trekking in Khao Yai National Park, just over 100 miles northeast of Bangkok, and I'd like to share with you some hints and tips about how we managed to organise this cheap, exciting weekend away. The first recommendation is by far and away the easiest way to travel to Khao Yai is by train. You want to take any train on a Friday evening to Pak Chong Station, which takes or should take about two and a half hours. Oh, so <laughs> here we are at Pak Chong Station. Trains in Thailand are quite often late, so take that into consideration. But otherwise, it's all good. Just take your time. You're in no hurry, so it's all good. How's the beer? Delicious. Cheers. Cheers. Ch cheers together. <laughs> is train the best way to travel in Thailand? Without a shadow of a doubt. Why would I want to be trapped in a small minivan like this? Hurtling down the streets of Bangkok, well, actually, stuck in the streets of Bangkok and then flying at death defying speeds up through Chalapri when I could be chilled here in my, uh, in my, in my restaurant with the wind in, the, in my hand. So, yeah, I think so. What do you think, John? I think generally, train is the way to travel in Thailand. You look out the window and you can see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, go in the same thing. 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 Get one free. So uh, the train journey is coming to that point of the night where we are all a little bit drunk, smashing it up with the layers. It's all good. And then part of it happens to recognise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Now, you'll, there's a hotel sign above the street, and there's one just below it in English as well. It's called the Pubaid Hotel. And so, seeing as we weren't well organized enough to have prepared things since the night before, we were extremely happy to find this breakfast shop right outside the hotel. And even more ecstatic when we found out that not only could we get breakfast and coffee, but they also rent motorbikes out too. So if you're staying at the Pubaid Hotel, you can come just round the corner to this shop here where you will find motorbikes for rent with Mr. Sunny. Yeah, for 300 baht per day and you can also eat breakfast in here. So you'll be welcome. Excellent. How long has your shop been here? My shop has been here from the start, in the start of this year and uh, I hope we will be very good. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Once we had rented our motorbikes from Sunny for 300 baht a day, we head on up towards Khao Yai National Park. It's really easy to find from Pak Chong. It's pretty much just a straight road all the way up. And before you know it, you'll be pulling up to the entrance of the National Park. As you can see from the sign here, the National Parks charge 200 baht per person for foreigners, as opposed to only 40 baht for Thai people. Now, it's quite well known that if you're able to prov provide some kind of evidence that you live in Thailand, even an ATM card, then the guards will often let you in for the Thai price. Oh, that one there, look. Open 8 a.m., close 9 p.m., that's good to know. Are we, are, we are we good? Yeah. Now, before I start to show you just how much fun we had in the National Park, and I'm not giving you any clues <laughs> here, I thought I would give you a little bit about the hotel that we stayed in on the second night. Not only is the Pubaid Hotel really quite far from the National Park, we were also looking for something a little bit more luxury on the second night, as seen as it was our friend's birthday. Starting at the lower end of the price scale, you have this Wang Pet Resort that you can see here, which is, starts at 500 baht per night, or there's also this Ban Duong Pon Resort, which starts at 600 baht per night. Both are very comfortable, quite close to the park, 
But my only gripe was that there wasn't enough to do in those areas at the, in the evening. A good middle of the range option is the Kaoyai Cowboy Hotel, which is located right next to the entrance to the park and has a nice kitchen as well, unfortunately which closes at 9 o'clock though. On the slightly more expensive end of the spectrum, there's the Jungle House Hotel leading up to the park, which also has elephant rides and uh, elephant looking after right outside the hotel too. There's the Greenery Resort, which is the very well known, slightly more expensive. And for those who don't care too much what their hotel is called, you could stay here at the Romantic Hotel, although one does have to wander. But eventually we decided to stay here. This is the J2 Hotel, which is part of the Jewelist Group. It's their spin-off hotel. It's their slightly cheaper version of the Jewelist Kaoyai. And 1400 baht a night we paid for a very, very comfortable room. It had air conditioning, it had uh, a very simple breakfast in the morning. And my personally favorite thing about the J2 is they have this fridge here, stocked with different kinds of beers, uh, which works on the honor system. So take what you need and let the staff at the reception know afterwards and they'll add it to your bill. So, we finally got here, the train was sorted, motorbikes were hired and we organised the hotels for the evening and now it was time to enjoy the national park. We went on a very nice 5 to 7 kilometre trek in the morning and that was very nice but uh, there were really two highlights to our day in the park and the first one had a lot to do with the rain. As you can see here it was really tipping it down from when we arrived in the park but what we decided to do is go and find the waterfall, nevertheless. So if you're going to come to Kaoyai in the rainy season, don't be too put off, because the chances are you will get quite some, a lot of sunshine throughout the day, like we did this morning. However, there are periods when it might start tipping it down like it's doing right now. But you just have to get over it, buy yourself a 45 baht Mac, and head on now anyway. Let's go. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. We're making it down here in the rain. Ah, yeah, we're almost at the waterfall here. Just a few hundred meters to go and we'll be there. I, I, it's absolutely pissing it down, so I really hope that this effort is going to be worth it. Let's go and see. Hi. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. yeah, I think you can decide for yourself, was it worth it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's pretty wet down here. Water is coming from all directions, up, down, left, right. So we better put the camera away. But we hope you come to Kaoyai and we hope you enjoy it. <laughs> okay. And finally, we leave you with the really coolest thing we saw in Kaoyai National Park the whole weekend. As we were driving along the road, we came across this traffic jam in the middle of the jungle caused by this enormous wild elephant you can see here up ahead. It took us a few minutes to get past this beast, and as you can see, it's not, no longer raining. But eventually we got past and we got some really close-up shots of this wonderful animal. Nine sprags of Deutsch. <laughs> it's an elephant. Ah, <laughs> oh, this asshole. Oh, here you go. It's, it's, it's moving it's, off to the it's side. Over. 